Hello guys, welcome to what's uh, another What's In My Decoy Bag. I'm filming this little series all at once and I'm just going to put it over a amount of time whenever I do have time because it does take a lot of time for our slow computer to upload this stuff. Anyways, we're going to go and we're not doing divers today. Once again, we're going to be doing green headgear bag, marsh mash. Um, that bag's better, but I, this big's ba bag's bigger. But you can get bigger bags of that. Um, but they're both very high quality bags. They're both antimicrobial, whatever. Uh, that, that, could be, that could be a problem. Anyways. Alright. We're doing, um, forgot what kind of mallards these are. Let me just check in the bottom here real quick. Final approach. This way, I thought I heard something. Oh, that's what it was. Oh, crap. Sorry. Anyways, that's what these are. These are final approach. I know I'm 12 for like 27 or 20 dollars at a sale, like right after the hunting season ended. No, it was right after Christmas. It was the day after Christmas. Yeah, it was the day after Christmas. They had these from 40 to 27 for a dozen. Now, these are small mallards. Um, and I've got to say they are not the best mallards I've ever seen, but for $27, you're looking at very, very thick. I mean, I can't even press this in. This is high quality um, thing. You got the final approach style 60-40 keel, uh, similar, not quite the same weighted in the back here. But, you know, everyone complains about 60-40 keels, but why are other decoy companies using them if they're not any good? You know, these ones are a bit heavier than regular 60-40. So this is a hen. Um, they do have very good, you can tell they're done by a robot because some of them have this little white patch missed. But you've got pretty good detail on them. Um, I do like, prefer the drakes a little bit more. The hen's just not the best hen I've ever seen. They are good. Um, these you need, you uh, know, probably about a six ounce, I think that's what I have. I don't know what I six ounce weight on it. I I don't I didn't put stretchies on them. No, they're just uh, strap weights. So you do need about a six ounce strap weight. Um, I don't have a lot to say about them other than they're very nice looking mallards for the price I got them. I would recommend them if you can get them under. I don't know if they're if you're looking for a lot of decoys. They're good because they're. Lighter than a lot of mallard decoys, and you can fit 12 of them, whereas normally you could fit 6. Um, they are very, I mean, they're very uh, non-space-taking ducks, so you could put two dozen, where you could only put like one dozen f full size or whatever. These are very nice size mallards. You know, they, they fit very good if you're walking a distance to a pothole in North Dakota, or potholes anywhere really. You know, they're definitely going to take up less space. Um, they don't really have, this head's a little, you know, they don't really have too many chipping issues. I mean, you got the little tiny rubs here and there. Like I said, these haven't really been used at all. They've been taken in and out of the bag uh, plenty, though, so, yeah. The bag's where they're going to get all their wear in the boat. But... You know, they're just good, good decoys, and uh, I'd, I'd recommend them to um, anyone. <coughs> they look, do this, these drakes do look good with their uh, feather design on their heads, especially, and they do have the nice, uh, shiny, iridescent head. Um, but you do get a very good nice look to these drakes and the hens you know could say a little bit less about that but still pretty good hen you know I've seen some very bad hens believe me uh, tangle free has horrible horrible uh, duck decoys mallard decoys suck um, especially their uh, signature ones or whatever they do those suck the hens are just so bad they white it's like a white head with a black straight big black mark through it they're very bad um it's hard to mess up on a drake mallard it's not it's hard to mess up on a hen mallard but 
Tango free. Don't ever buy tango free mallards because they suck. Then those are uh, the uh, f- uh, flocked. Then those are okay. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. And um, just barely over five minutes, so I'm happy. Goodbye.